Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we are going to talk about a little revelation that I had a while ago. Like, I can't even remember when it was because I wrote it in my notes and then I left it there and didn't end up filming it. So I want to film it now because I've actually been triggered by this quite a lot recently. And so, okay, the real reason you feel jealousy or envy or the reason why you compare yourself to other people I've come to realise that when this happens, it's because it's, it's basically a trigger and you're being triggered by whatever it is that that other person is doing or the way they look, the way they dress, the money they have, whatever it is, when we feel triggered by that, it's because usually it's because we want it. Like if you feel jealous or envious of someone, it's because they have something that you really want or that you feel like you could really do for yourself and for whatever reason we have been taught that when that happens it's a negative thing and it means that there's something wrong with that person or there's something wrong with us and we take it as like a huge negative thing when what we really could see is that it's literally inspiration they're literally inspiring you like they're sparking the aspect of you that wants to do that thing and because so many of us don't feel worthy enough or don't feel like we don't have much self-esteem especially young girls a lot of us don't have very high self-esteem and so when we get triggered by somebody else doing something we just instantly feel like that makes us like not worthy <laughs> like their success may, means that we're not good enough or their um image or their like the way they carry themselves means that i'm not good enough because now you start comparing yourself to them instead of realizing oh this is inspiring me like wow i could do that too and if we were confident enough in ourselves we would then take that inspiration and actually put it into action we would put it into practice within ourselves and like say it's a goal or something that somebody has achieved and you see it and you feel slight jealousy about it because you really want that thing it then sparks that inspiration to be like oh my god i now know that i want this thing let me now see about all of the ways that I can achieve it and how to go about it. Let me plan out and brainstorm my ideas and then work out the step by step to get there, you know. But we don't take it as inspiration. We take it as a negative and start feeling shit about ourselves or start hating on the other person and lashing out at them when really it could actually be a good thing. Like, feeling that jealousy and that envy could actually be a good thing for it to come up because it's literally like your emotions are your guidance system. So it's literally guiding you towards something that you want. It's showing you something that you want because you may not have even been aware of the fact that you wanted that thing. And then that feeling comes up and it's like, oh, oh, let me pay attention to that. What am I feeling? Why am I feeling this way? What is it towards? Okay, now I know what I want. I literally know what I want now so let me go get it because I can have it too you know but because of our self-esteem and all of the brainwashing that we've had we don't feel like we can even get it so yeah this was a revelation that I had because then I realized oh my god I actually want that thing wow <laughs> and when you realize that you want something it like kind of takes off that um like it takes off that envy and that the like pulling dense heaviness of that emotion starts to release once you realize this is what I want and I can have it let me go get it but when you don't feel like you can have it it stays heavy and like constricting and makes you feel unworthy and shame and guilt and all of these low vibrational emotions which there's nothing wrong with feeling these low vibrational emotions but staying stuck there and believing that that's the true story is when it doesn't really work in your favour too much, you know? So yeah, 
I just think we can take the inspiration from these emotions and where it's directed and our triggers because essentially it is a trigger and sometimes our triggers are actually a good thing because it's directing you to all of the things that you want and now you can go after those things that you want and obviously we have to do our shadow work along with that because we need to be able to um regulate the negative emotions that are coming up so that they don't get all stuck and blocked and all of that kind of stuff so we still need to work on our belief system to be able to even um feel like we're good enough to do it so you have to do your shadow work at the same time and you have to regulate your emotions at the same time but being able to just kind of shift your perspective from feeling like they're better than you and it's out of your reach to using it as your guidance system to realize that this is the thing that you want and you can go and get it you are worthy enough of getting it so now let's plan out let the ideas come let's sit down and brainstorm the ideas and work out exactly how we can get there because we can do it so yeah i hope this video was helpful you can comment down below if you have any other video suggestions or if you want to carry on this conversation and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my phone number my social media elemental mirror my crystal brand and so so much more and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week and i will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself